Fishing with Yuri Petrash. Today we are speaking about fishing in ponds. There will be a competition here soon. I, with a member of my team, Mikhail, will be training here. I will show you how to fish here. We can talk a lot about fishing in ponds. That's why we're going to focus our attention on specific tips that will be useful. The most important thing is the search for fish. Fishermen who come to such a large body of water for the first time may not know where to start. It's very hard to find the fish. If you have chosen to fish in a reservoir, then you'll have to go to the same place several times. Divide the area into several sections and explore each new section. It's very hard to find fish just using luck. We're fishing today at a pond we know well. Today we will not look for new places but check old ones. Today we're going to find out the preferences of the fish. The first type of fish we are planning to catch is Xander. Xander is a very finicky fish. It won't attack just any bait. Mikhail and I will divide the responsibilities for training and will try to catch a Xander. All lures differ in many respects, but essentially they can be divided into two, active and passive. Mikhail will use several active models, while I will be using a passive ones. This is a classic soft plastic bait which has an active element, a twister with a heavy tail. It has the shape of a crayfish with two active claws. Passive baits are large imitations of dragonfly larvae. Here is a worm loved by perch and zander. An imitation of the river goby, which has no active play, and an imitation of mole crickets. Each of us has his own range of baits, which is different in appearance and color. The only difference is that Mikhail has baits with an active play and I have passive ones. It's a great morning. Let's begin fishing. We choose different places when we fish for pike and perch. These locations don't work with Xander. We are looking for a specific place. It can be an isolated mound. That's why we almost always cast in the same place, but using different baits. And here is the first nibble. Xander, very small. The first cast got us a fish. It's a very young fish. It took our bait at the first cast. Now we've got the chance to test the theory. It is said that a fish caught from the first cast does not bring good luck. I usually start fishing for Xander with fairly heavy leads. Firstly, the bottom is reached much faster. It speeds up the search for fish. Secondly, the speed is so fast that it's often liked by Xander. If you have just started to fish for Xander, I would recommend you have a set of weights that include 15, 25, 35 and 45 grams. Moreover, weights such as 45 grams are only necessary when fishing in very deep places with a strong flow. In my experience, there are cases when Xander were caught in still water at a depth of 4 or 5 meters with a 45 gram weight. 
There are many people who have a range of weights with increments of 2 to 3 grams, such as 14, 16, 18, 20 grams. But I don't think it's so important. A range with increments of 10 grams will be enough, at least to begin with. I've just had a little nibble. I've waited and the fish has taken the bait. At this time, dragonfly larvae are succeeding. A little bigger, but another young fish. So far, passive baits are showing themselves to be better than active ones. But we cannot say for sure with such a small number of fish. If it continues like this, then I, together with Mikhail, will switch to passive. But we cannot say for sure with such a small number of fish. If it continues like this, then I, together with Mikhail, will switch to passive baits and try to choose which passive baits are the most effective. The beauty of fishing with passive baits is that when there is a small nibble or any contact with the fish, the bait can be left in the same place. Give it a little twitch, allow it to lie on the bottom. It is not necessary to pull it to activate the tail. It can just lie there and if it is visually light and tasty for the fish, the fish will take it. I've had three nibbles during one bottom casting. It means that the fish don't like something. When you correctly guess the colour and shape of the bait, the fish take it very greedily. Now, while there are some fish, I will change the bait. I change the colour, and if it doesn't bring success, I'll change the shape of the bait. When I fish for Xander, I often use a hinge assembly with an offset hook. Now we can find hooks with big eyes. They are very comfortable. As for the offset hook, bait movement takes place at the very bottom with light twitching. In this case, a normal hook clings to the bottom and allows you to animate the bait any way you want. It doesn't blunt the hook and reliably catches fish. When I fish sander, I always take two rods. They are interchangeable, have approximately the same test load, the same line and the same reel. One rod is set up with a light weight, in this case 15 grams. The second rod has a weight of 25 grams. When I want to change the bait, it's faster to change the rod than the bait. Also, the second rod can replace the first if that one breaks. Fishing in a reservoir is one of my favourites. Here you can hook any fish. Of course, they're hard to find. Ah, Mikhail has his first nibble. Finally, active bait is working. This sander is bigger and has taken the bait far more aggressively. The crayfish bait has an active element. This is one of my favourite lures for Xander. Now the score is 2-1 to passive baits. But it is too early to make any conclusions. You need to catch at least 10 fish. For us, this point is very important because when you're at the competition, you have to be 100% sure of what bait to put into the water to save you time. Now Mikhail has got a good nibble using crayfish. It is a bigger fish. I should help him land this fish.
And it's a small catfish. Crayfish. This bait has worked again. The score is equal, but active baits are catching better fish. Fishing with Yuri Petrash. We continue fishing by checking more and more places in the hope of finding bigger fish. The competition between active and passive lures continues. Even young Xander give us lots of positive emotions. Passive and active lures are having the same results. In the morning, we hooked smaller Xander. Now we have a new location and careful bottom casting has managed to catch such a nice fish. We hooked this Xander with a passive bait. In this case, it was a dragonfly larvae. Another nibble, but this time a young fish. Here's another good sander. Again, I've used a passive bait. What a great fish! After two casts, I've had no nibbles, and I take a passive bait shaped like a worm. Here's a nice Xander. We found a place with large sanders. This fish does not want to take active bait today. I caught the first fish with a dragonfly larvae, second with a worm, and the third one I hooked again with the dragonfly larvae. It is obvious that Xander likes passive baits. Now Michael is using a passive bait too, because the active are not liked by the fish, and we continue fishing.
Another Xander, again a very good size. And again on passive bait. Today it clearly wins. Wow, what a catch. Great fish. Today, we've learned how to catch Xander. I'm not surprised because these baits have helped me more than once and they work with large fish. So, our training day ends. Let's summarize how and what happened today. We tried several places where we could hook Xander. The fish nibbled our lures. Usually it was a small fish that was caught with the active and passive baits. If we talk about the big fish, it was an interesting coincidence. Mikhail and I participated in the Championship of Ukraine a week ago. We did well enough to take second place. At that time, we found that the best baits were small worm and small dragonfly larvae. At the competition, we fished exclusively with this worm and caught all the fish with it. This allowed us to take second place in such a big competition. Today, all the big fish were caught on the same, much bigger bait. Two large zanders were caught with dragonfly larvae and two zanders were hooked with a large worm. This is the same bait, but has a much bigger size. As a result of this fishing, these two baits become the most important in our bait box and will be useful for the competition at this pond. I want to recommend to anglers, especially beginners, not to be afraid of passive baits with no animation. They can be useful when fishing for Xander. So, try these lures and you may succeed. Well, goodbye. See you on our next fishing trip. Fishing with Yuri Petrash.